Marcelo Vieira da Silva Jr. known as Marcelo, is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays as a left back for Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A club Fluminense. Widely regarded as one of the greatest left backs of all time, he is known for his attacking capabilities. He spent most of his career with La Liga club Real Madrid and is one of the club's most decorated players, winning 25 trophies. Starting his professional career with Fluminense in 2005, Marcelo won a Campeonato Carioca title in his first season and was named in the 2006 Brasileiro team of the season. In January 2007, he joined Real Madrid for an €8 million Euros fee. At Real Madrid, he went on to be a mainstay, winning many trophies, including five UEFA Champions League titles and six La Liga titles. In 2021, Marcelo became the captain of Real Madrid from the start of the 2021-22 season, making him the first foreign captain since 1904. After leaving Real Madrid in 2022, he had a five-month spell at Olympiacos, followed by a return to Fluminense in 2023, where he won the Copa Libertadores. He has been named in the FIF Pro World 11 six times, the UEFA Team of the Year three times, and La Liga's Team of the Season in 2016. He was also named to France Football's Team of the Decade, 2010-2019. Having debuted for Brazil in 2006, Marcelo was part of the 2008 Olympic squad and won a bronze medal. Four years later, he was part of Brazil's 2012 Olympic team and won a silver medal. Marcelo played in the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup, and Brazil was victorious, beating Spain 3-0 in the final. He was part of Brazil's squad at two FIFA World Cups, 2014 and 2018, and was named in both tournaments dream teams. Club career. At Fluminense. Marcelo started playing futsal at age 9 and by age 13, he was on the books of Fluminense in Rio de Janeiro. He came from a very poor background and even considered quitting football, but his grandfather convinced him to continue with the sport. At Real Madrid. Marcelo joined Real Madrid during the January transfer window in 2007. On his arrival, club president Ramon Calderon said, he is an important signing for us. He is a young player who will inject some freshness into the side and is part of our plan to bring younger players into the squad. We're very happy because he's a pearl that half of Europe wanted. Many. Spectators hailed him as Brazilian and Real Madrid great Roberto Carlos' potential successor in the left-back role. Marcelo made his debut as a substitute in the 2-0 defeat against Deportivo La Coruna on January 7, 2007. On April 14, 2007, then-coach Fabio Capello gave Marcelo his first start for Real Madrid against Racing de Santander. Real Madrid controversially lost the game 2-1. In the 2007-08 season, Marcelo started nearly all of Madrid's league games under the new manager Bernd Schuster. His ability, speed running across the field, attack and defense had enabled him to become a very important player for Real Madrid. After a string of poor performances in 2009, Marcelo found himself on the bench for much of the remaining season while under new manager Juan Ramos, mainly as deputy to the more defensive-minded Gabriel Heinze. Ramos deployed Marcelo as a winger on more than one occasion, and the Brazilian adapted well to his new role. He scored his first goal after receiving a heel flick from striker Gonzalo Higuain and slotting the ball past the goalkeeper in Madrid's 4-0 thumping of Sporting Gijón. After the game, coach Ramos declared that Marcelo's future would be positioned as a winger, but will push back to defense when required. Marcelo scored his second goal for Real Madrid in a victory over Almeria, a powerful strike from outside the box with his weaker right foot. On April 18, 2009, he scored his third goal of his Real Madrid career, when he scored the only goal of the game against Huelva away from home. He scored his fourth goal against Sevilla at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan in April 2009. Under the next head coach Manuel Pellegrini, Marcelo consistently featured in the starting 11 for his versatility and pace along the left flank in offensive and defensive roles. 
he continued to be employed as a left winger under Pellegrini, and reached the top of the assist charts of La Liga in the 2009-10 season. He admitted in a press conference at the end of 2009, I now feel better playing as a winger. His successful performance in Real Madrid's 2009-10 campaign earned him a contract extension on February 5, 2010 with the club until June 2015. This season proved to be his breakthrough season at the club. In the 2010-11 season under new coach Jose Mourinho, Marcelo was back in his natural position of left back. He started all league games, paying back the coach's confidence in him with defensive steel and attacking intent and gained the coach's admiration. On November 25, 2010, Marcelo was named as a part of the 55-player shortlist for the FIFA World XI. He scored his first goal of the new season in a 1-0 win against Espanyol on February 13. He had a terrific match against Lyon in the Champions League. Showing his attacking flair and defensive skills, he opened the scoring with his first ever Champions League goal and assisted Karim Benzema's goal, at the end he was named man of the match, of which Real went on to win 3-0, and progressed to the quarter-finals for the first time since 2004. Marcelo then continued his fine season by scoring in the second leg of the semi-finals against Barcelona in the Camp Nou. The game ended 1-1, but Real Madrid lost by an aggregate score of 3-1 since they lost 2-0 at home in the first leg. Marcelo's successful campaign in the Champions League earned him a starting spot in UEFA's starting 11. Marcelo was heavily praised by the worldwide media during that season, and many called him the best left back in the world. Diego Maradona said he was the third best player in La Liga, after Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Marcelo was sent off on August 17, 2011 during Madrid's 3-2 loss to Barcelona. On December 3, 2011, Marcelo scored Madrid's third goal in a 3-0 victory over Sporting Gijón in La Liga. Paolo Maldini gave credits to Marcelo and called him the current left-back, who is a great attacker and a defender, a specialist of both areas. Roberto Carlos named Marcelo as the world's best left back, saying. He had more ability than me with the ball and he joins in better, and even called him his heir. Marcelo had shown great performances as a left back, such as in the Champions League quarterfinals against Cypriot club Apoel, while entering as a substitute in the 75th minute for Fabio Contro. Marcelo was part of the starting 11 as Real Madrid claimed their 32nd league title. Marcelo scored his first goal of the season against Manchester City in the Champions League group stage on September 19, Riddle's first goal of a 3-2 win at the Santiago Bernabeu. As of February 2013, Marcelo had returned from injury and captained Real Madrid on February 23 at the Estadio Riazor which ended in a 2-1 victory for Los Merengues. On April 20, he played as the captain again against Real Betis at the Santiago Bernabeu. In the 14th minute, he sustained a muscle injury after intercepting a long through ball, but the game ended in 3-1 victory for the home side. Marcelo scored the opening goal for Real Madrid against Chelsea in the Guinness International Champions Cup 2013 final on August 7, Real Madrid won 3-1. During the league season, he played 28 matches, and scored one goal, in a 3-0 win over Levant on March 9. Marcelo scored Real Madrid's third goal of their 4-1 win in the Champions League final against City rivals Atletico Madrid, with an extra time strike from outside the box after coming on as a substitute for Fabio Contro. On July 10, 2015, Marcelo signed a new contract with Real Madrid, keeping him at the club until 2020. On October 18, 2015, he scored his first goal of the season by scoring Real Madrid's first goal in a 3-0 home win against Levant. He was a regular starter when the team won the Champions League, beating Atletico Madrid again in the final on penalties. He played 30 matches when Madrid won the La Liga and was a regular starter when Madrid won the Champions League after defeating Juventus 4-1 in the final. On September 13, 2017, 
Marcelo signed a new contract which would keep him at the club until summer 2022. During the Champions League, he made 11 appearances, while scoring three goals, with Madrid winning their third consecutive and 13th overall Champions League title after defeating Liverpool 3-1 in the final. During the 2018-19 season, he made 34 appearances, winning the Club World Cup for the third consecutive time. Later on, Marcelo made 15 appearances during the 2019-20 league season, as Real Madrid won the league title. He appeared sporadically in the 2020-21 season due to various injuries and was replaced by Ferland Mendy in the left-back position. He appeared in a total of 19 matches in all competitions as Real Madrid finished second in the league behind Atletico Madrid. On June 16, 2021, it was announced that he would become the captain of Real Madrid from the start of the 2021-22 season, as the player who had been in the first team for the longest period of time after Sergio Ramos, he was assigned the role after Ramos left, making him the first foreign captain since 1904. On October 19, 2021, Marcelo made his 100th Champions League appearance in a 5-0 win at Shakhtar Donetsk. 36. On April 30, 2022, after winning La Liga, Marcelo became the player with most titles in the history of Real Madrid, surpassing Paco Gento, with 24. On May 28, 2022, Marcelo lifted his fifth Champions League trophy after defeating Liverpool 1-0 in the final at the Stade de France, despite not featuring in the game itself. After the final, Marcelo announced that he would leave the club after 15 years. At Olympiacos On September 3, 2022, Marcelo signed for Super League Greece club Olympiacos. In the Greek Cup round of 16, he scored three goals in two matches against Atromitos. On February 18, 2023, Marcelo terminated his Olympiacos contract, departing from the club after five months. Return to Fluminense On February 24, 2023, Fluminense announced the return of Marcelo to the club. He made his first appearance since his return to the club in the Copa Libertadores on April 5 in a 3-1 away win against Sporting Crystal. Four days later, he scored his first goal in his second tenure at the club with a long-range strike in a 4-1 victory over Flamengo in the second leg of the Campeonato Carioca final, hence, he achieved another trophy with Fluminense, the first during his second spell with the club after a 4-3 win on aggregate. On November 4, 2023, he started in the Copa Libertadores final with Fluminense against Boca Juniors in the Maracana Stadium, which ended in a 2-1 victory after extra time, to become the 15th player to win both Champions League and Copa Libertadores titles. International career Marcelo scored in his Brazil debut on September 5, 2006, in a 2-0 victory against Wales at Tottenham Hotspur's White Hart Lane. He got the ball just outside the box and shot a typical Brazilian full-back goal. Marcelo has been compared to former Brazil national team left-back Roberto Carlos, who also played for Real Madrid. The two had played together during the second half of the 2006-07 season before Carlos moved to Turkish club Fenerbahce. He was part of the 2008 Olympic squad as Brazil's under-23 squad, where he won a bronze medal. In May 2010, he was named as one of the seven substitutes for Brazil's 2010 FIFA World Cup squad. Although he was not called up by Brazil coach Dunga, he was selected again by new coach Mano Menezes for a friendly against the United States on August 10, 2010. He was the man of the match for a 2-1 win in a friendly against Mexico away on October 11, 2011, as he scored the winner by dribbling past several players and then blasting the goal into the net. He was part of Brazil's 2012 Summer Olympics as one of the three overage players, with Brazil winning a silver medal. Marcelo was selected to be in Luiz Felipe Scolari's 23-man Brazil squad that played in the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup on home soil. He was a starter for all of the matches, including the 3-0 victory over Spain in the final on June 30, at the Maracana Stadium.
in the 2014 FIFA World Cup, which was once again played on home soil, Marcelo scored an own goal in the 11th minute of the opening game against Croatia on June 12, deflecting a shot by Nikaka Jelavic. It was the first goal that Brazil had conceded at the World Cup, although they eventually won the match 3-1. In May 2018, Marcelo was named in the final squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. He wore the captain's armband in the first match and was a starter in four of the five matches Brazil played in the competition. Brazil was eliminated by Belgium in the quarterfinals on July 6, 2018, and that was his last match with the national team. In May 2019, he was omitted from Brazil's squad for the 2019 Copa America. Marcelo was praised by football legends such as Paulo Maldini and Diego Maradona, the latter of whom also called him the best left back in the world. Marcelo has often been compared to fellow left back Roberto Carlos, who himself described Marcelo as his heir in 2012. Carlos also commented on Marcelo's technical skills, Marcelo possesses a better technical ability than me. Marcelo is widely regarded as one of the greatest left backs of all time. Known for his attacking capabilities, Marcelo mainly plays as a full back or wing back, but he can also play on the left wing or in midfield. His movement on the ball, explosive pace, agility, and dribbling skills frequently see him beat opponents in one on one situations with feints. He is a threat on counter attacks as he can penetrate the opponent's defense with deep runs or get into positions where he can receive the ball often and create goals. Moreover, his crossing ability, precise passing, and his vision also allow him to function as a secondary playmaker for his team, as he can create goal-scoring chances for his teammates. While naturally left-footed, he is also adept with his right foot. Despite his ability going forward, however, the defensive side of Marcelo's game has been brought into question by pundits on occasion, who have cited his defensive abilities, work rate, and awareness as weaknesses that are in need of improvement. Football-related business activities In 2017, Marcelo started investing in football clubs with his company Doe's, 12. The company became a majority shareholder of Campeonato Paranaense Club Azurais based in Marmolairo, Piranha. In 2021, Doe's invested in the Portuguese club Mafra. Personal life. In 2008, Marcelo married his longtime girlfriend, Clarice Alves. On September 24, 2009, they had their first child, a son named Enzo Alves Vieira. Their second son, Liam, was born on September 1, 2015. Marcelo has many tattoos, including his shirt number and his day of birth, 12, tattooed, which are both on his left arm. He mentioned his grandfather, Pedro Vieira, as the inspiration for his football career, his grandfather supported him financially so that he could start his career in Brazil. His grandfather died in July 2014, during the World Cup. Marcelo wanted to withdraw from the tournament to attend his funeral but stayed with the Brazil team to honor his grandfather's wishes. On July 26, 2011, Marcelo attained Spanish nationality, which allows him to be registered as a normal player rather than as a non-EU player, of which there is a strict quota allowed. In April 2013, Marcelo was unveiled as one of Adidas' new icons for a promotional event at the Bernabeu store which showcased the F50 ADI0. Marcelo was joined by Real Madrid teammates Gareth Bale and Karim Benzema, who also wore the Adidas brand. At the event, Marcelo said, Throughout my career, I have achieved some of my dreams, and this is one too. Being next to these stars is fantastic. They have congratulated me, it's a great brand and I am happy. Some of his honors. At Real Madrid. La Liga, 2006, 07, 2007, 08, 2011 to 12, 2016 to 17, 2019, 20, 2021, 22. Copa del Rey, 2010 to 11, 2013 to 14. 
Supercopa de España, 2008, 2012, 2017, 2020, 2022. UEFA Champions League, 2013 to 14, 2015 to 16, 2016 to 17, 2017 to 18, 2021 to 22. UEFA Super Cup, 2014, 2016, 2017. FIFA Club World Cup, 2014, 2016, 2017, 2018. At Fluminense. Campeonato Carioca, 2005, 2023. Takario, 2005. Copa Libertadores, 2023. Recopa Sudamericana, 2024. With Brazil under 17. FIFA U17 World Cup runner up, 2005. With Brazil under 23. Summer Olympic silver medal, 2012. Bronze medal, 2008. With Brazil. FIFA Confederations Cup, 2013. At individual level. Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A Team of the Year, 2006. France Football Team of the Decade, 2010 to 2019. LA Keep Team of the Season, 2011, 2016, 2017, 2018. ESPN Best Left Back of the Year, 2017, 2018. UEFA Team of the Year, 2011, 2017, 2018. FIFA Fit Pro World 11. 2012, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. FIFA World Cup Dream Team, 2014, 2018. La Liga Team of the Season, 2015 to 16. Facebook for La Liga Best Defender, 2016. UEFA Champions League squad of the season, 2010, 11, 2015, 16, 2016, 17, 2017, 18. ESM Team of the Year, 2015 to 16, 2016 to 17. IPS Men's World Team, 2017, 2018. IPS World Team of the Decade, 2011 to 2020. Ips can Mebel team of the decade 2011 to 2020 thank you for watching this video